Hello, this is Mr. Field, and this is my presentation on calculating relative formula mass. Now, before you understand this, let's make sure you're really confident with chemical symbols and formulas. So look back through that video uh, there if you need to. Now, in this video, we're going to start off uh, by looking at what we mean by this term relative formula mass, and then we're just going to work through a few different worked examples. OK, so what is this relative formula mass thing that we're going to be calculating? So relative formula mass is the mass of all of the atoms in one unit of a chemical formula. And it's got this symbol here, M, with a little subscript R like that. Um, so let's look at some examples. Um, first example we'll look at is water H2O. It's got an MR of 18. Now, what does this mean? Well, if we think about water being made out of hydrogen and oxygen, hydrogen has an atomic mass of 1. Remember, it's always the bigger number, the atomic mass. Oxygen has got a mass of 16. And so it shouldn't be a big surprise that if we were to add up two hydrogens, because it's H2O, and one oxygen, hydrogen is each got a mass of 1, oxygen has got a mass of 16. Add those up, and you'll get a total mass of 18. So all we're saying by this MR is what is the total mass of all of the atoms present in a formula. Example two, this is propane, C3H8. Uh, um, its MR is 44. And again, this time we've got carbon, which is um, got an atomic mass of 12. So if we had three carbons, we'd do 12, add another 12, add another 12, because that's our three different carbons. And then we'd add on a load of ones for hydrogen. One, add 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 one. That's eight, eight hydrogens added on. That will come to 44. So again, all we're doing is we're just adding the masses of all of the atoms in one unit of a formula to give us this MR value. And we can even do it for quite big molecules like this. This is um, glucose, the sugar involved in respiration. Um, C6H12O6 is its formula. So if we add up six carbons with a mass of 12, six, uh, 12 hydrogens with a mass of 1, and six oxygens with a mass of 16, it will come to a total of 180. Now, don't worry if you didn't understand how to calculate it from this slide, because we're going to look at a whole load of examples now. Um, but as we look at the examples, I'd encourage you to, to, after maybe the first one, just pause before I go through it and see if you can do it yourself and then check against what I say. OK, so let's look at our first example where we're going to calculate MR for CH4. Now, let's just notice in the question, you'll nearly always be given the relative atomic masses. Um, so for C, for, for carbon C, it is 12. And for hydrogen, it is 1. OK, now, um, the method we're going to follow, we're going to start off by labelling the calculation. So what I mean by that is we're going to say MR and then in brackets CH4 equals. And the point of this is making it really clear exactly what we're calculating. Because in some of the more advanced calculations later, you're going to do two or three of these MRs um, at the same time. So if you don't label them, it's really easy to lose track of what's what. So that's the first step done. Our second step is to unpack the formula. So what I mean by that is saying how many atoms of each type there are in that formula. So if we start with carbons, we're going to say 1 times carbon, because there's no next to the, no number next to the carbon. So 1 times C for carbon. And then we're going to add on 4 times H for hydrogen, because there's a little 4 next to that hydrogen there. Okay. Our next step is going to be to substitute the masses. So we're going to replace these letters for each of the atoms with their masses um, from above. So rather than saying 1 times C, we're going to say 1 times 12, because 12 is the mass for a carbon atom. And then we're going to, we're going to add on 4 times, instead of H, we'll say 1, because 1 is the mass of hydrogen, so 4 times 1. Um, 1 times 12, add 4 times 1. Last step then is to calculate that, and that gives us an answer of 16, and that is our relative formula mass. Note there are no units. OK, let's look at a more difficult example. So example two, which is sulfuric acid, H2SO4. Let's do our first step. So first step is to label it. So we're going to say MR, then in brackets, H2SO4 equals. Next step is to unpack the formula. So we're going to say 2 times H, because there's a 2 next to the H. Then we're going to add on 1 times S. Now remember, each new element is represented by a new capital letter. So S and O are two different things, sulphur and oxygen 
and we know that because they've each got a capital letter. So each capital letter, remember, is a new symbol. So 1 times S, and then we're going to add on four lots of O because there's a small uh, 4 next to the O. Right, so now we substitute our masses. So instead of 2 times H, we'll say 2 times 1 because 1 is the mass of hydrogen. Then we're going to add on 1 times 32 because 32 is the mass of sulphur. And then we'll have 4 times 16 because 16 is the mass for oxygen. And lastly, we calculate it. So we just add those all up and that will give us a relative formula mass for H2SO4 of 98. And again, there are no units. Okay, example three. And this time a bit harder because we've got some brackets, but it works the same way. So MgOH2, this is magnesium hydroxide. So again, label our calculation. We're going to say M. R, make sure that R is nice and subscript. Um, in brackets, Mg, OH2, close the brackets, really nicely labelled now. And then we unpack our formula. So we say 1 times Mg, because there's no number next to Mg. That 2 only applies to the bracket, not to the Mg. Then we add on 2 times O. There's 1 O in the bracket, but the bracket is multiplied by 2. And then we do the same for hydrogen. There's one H in the bracket, but it's multiplied by two, so it's two H's. Then we substitute our masses. Okay, so um, we say one times 24 for um, magnesium, because that's the mass of magnesium. Then we say two times 16 for O, because that's its mass. And lastly, we add on two times... Um, one for hydrogen uh, and if we do that correctly we come to a relative formula mass for magnesium hydroxide of 58 and again no units okay example four getting a bit harder this time because we've got brackets and we've got a an element that's been repeated as well so this one often throws people um, so let's have a look at this this is c ch3 in brackets four so let's start as we have before by labeling the calculation so we're going to go um, M, R, open brackets, C, CH3, 4, close brackets, equals. Now, how many carbons have we got? We've got one carbon outside the brackets. In the bracket, we've got a carbon, but it's multiplied by 4. So that is actually 4 carbons plus that 1 to give us a total of 5 carbons. So this is going to be 5 times carbon. And then we're going to add on, we've got three hydrogens in the brackets, but we've got three of the brackets, so we multiply them together to give us 12 times hydrogen. Okay, so that's our unpacking done. Next, we're going to substitute the masses. So rather than saying 5 times C, we'll say 5 times 12, because 12 is the mass for carbon. And instead of 12 times H, we'll say 12 times 1, because 1 is the mass for hydrogen, and that will give us a total relative formula mass for CCH34 of 72 with no units. So our last example then is aluminium nitrate, ALNO3 in brackets 3. Um, so we'll start in the same way as normal by labelling our calculations. So we're going to say MR, open our brackets, ALNO3, 3, close brackets, equals, let's unpack our formula. So we've got 1 times AL because there's no number next to AL. Then we're going to add on, we've got one nitrogen in the brackets, but we've got three lots of the brackets. So that's going to be three times nitrogen. And then we're going to add on, and this often confuses people, we've got three oxygens in the bracket, but three lots of the brackets. So we do three times three to give us nine um, times oxygen. Okay, that is our unpacking done. So now we substitute our masses. So we say one times 27 for aluminium because that's its mass. Then we add on three times 14 for nitrogen, because that's its mass. And then we add on nine times 16 for O, because that is its mass. And that leaves us just to do the final calculation step down here. And that comes to a total MR of 213. And again, no units. Okay, so that's it, that's the end. Uh, really well done if you got this far. If you didn't quite make sense of it, just uh, give the video another watch and all will become clear. These are great calculations and most people do really well on them in the exams.